Hello and welcome to RD2L Holiday Cup Grand Finals of the Division 1 of the best of the best that was able to play during the holidays. And I am not alone here. I'm here together with Millard. How are you doing, my friend? Millard, I already Very said well. it wrong. Just I'm, take uh, off your, uh, turn off your in-game mic, by the way, again. Oh, apologies, apologies. Will do immediately. And it's off. And it's Millard, by the way, guys. Not Millard. I did it wrong. We just talked about it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no worries. I'm, I'm used to it. It's kind of <laughs> become a trending joke in Dota. Some of my friends who know that know the difference between the two, they'll call me Millard. <laughs> So, we are here in this matchup in Logical versus Jimmy and in this pool of heroes. We are playing draft, uh, captain's draft. What do you think is standing out here for you? I see a techies. Are we going to see that three hour long game? I sure hope not. I, I doubt it. I don't see any techies players in here. Um, some things stand out. I see Underlord's been a really strong hero this patch. Um, definitely can see a first picker ban out of that. A uh, strategy I know Jimmy's been go going with is they look to pick any a core that just isn't really counterable, or they ban out whatever counters and then try and pick them. And so they're cool. in the grand final. Seems like it's been working out for them. I also I saw Sick Boy just yesterday or the day before uh, play Ricky. And he absolutely hammered the enemy team. There is a Ricky available, and I don't see a Zeus here. That could be a pickup here. Uh, absolutely. We'll have to. We'll kind of have to see how the draft goes. Um, I think kind of with the changes to Ricky, you have to wait and pick him later on in the draft. He's not as versatile as he was. You saw him start to be played as a bit of a pos three and a pos four, which is. I don't know, I thought it was kind of weird, but he had the permanent invis from level one, yeah. which made it viable yeah. just because of the, you know, really starved out supports and they had to buy so much detection from early levels on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing I would say is there is a good amount of off laners in this pool. Like you said, we have Underlord, we have Legion Commander, we have Timbersaw who couldn't be played mid as well as offlane, Abaddon, Slardar, Kanka. Um, really good amounts of uh, offlaners, but not too many supports, I would say. Um, you have Lich, you have Ogre Magi, and uh, we have Viper, of course, being banned out. Viper, what what do you think of this uh, new meta of Viper support that's uh, just destroying your lane by orb walking? You know, it's really brutal. It's similar to kind of Skywrath from last patch. Mm -hmm. Where you just go and you use all of your mana, harass them out of lane, and then either it can like suicide to the tier two, and then just come back and do it all over again. It just makes it really hard to step up in lane, um, and there's not a lot of heroes that can deal with it all that well. If you're able to get a lane where you can kind of just get on top of them and you can't run at you like that, and you have like a big tanky strength seconds. hero who can kind of tank that damage, it ends up working out. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like the fact that right click viper has come back. I like. I think it just adds a little bit more depth to the character, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. And we see it is a first pick Kanka. That hero was very popular. I feel like uh, like a few weeks ago, I seen him a lot getting picked uh, in pro matches. Um, and the Underlord, as you said, a uh, very strong pick was getting banned. Now we see Kanka for Radiant side, most likely going to be off lane. Uh, it could definitely be a strong pickup, but I feel like it's uh, kind of made a resurgence. Although Kunkka has received the numerous bans, or numerous nerfs over the past couple patches, so the ags that they recently gave him, you know, really gave him a new breath of life because it, once he hits those level 15 and level 20 talents, he just becomes a walking AoE disable with... Ten seconds remaining. You cut out there with... Uh, oh, he comes a walking AoE disable with Torrent Storm with yeah. the Kunk Ad. Yeah, definitely. Um, but as Dye, couldn't you pick up something like Razor to go up against in lane of Kunkka? 
I feel like Racer would be doing pretty well against that hero. Uh, so far, they did pick up their supports, Lich and Winter Wyvern. Uh, both of these supports a little bit, like, lacking in lockdown that is, like, short cooldown. They have Winter's Curse, Sinister Gaze, but none of them are really, like, hard lockdown per se, I would say. They're, the pool in general is very lacking in lockdown. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of stuns at all. Um, actually, the biggest stuns coming out of, I would say, CK and Slardar for, you know, typically two heroes that run more. Radiant team pick. And they go with the Enigma. Dire team pick. Enigma and Sa both teams so far drafting a lot of team fight. Um, Global Silence, Black Hole, Winter's Curse, and this Conquer, like you said, as soon as he has an axe, uh, that Torrent Storm is gonna be huge in team Ten fights. Um, I think this is awesome. This is great for us. We're gonna, no. you know, hopefully we'll see some huge team fights where both teams going back and forth with these huge team fight ultimates out of. Uh, Wyvern with the Winter's Curse, Lich's Ultimate, same thing with Black Hole, Kunkka Boat all coming in. There's a lot of Wombo comp. Yeah. Um, I also feel... Hmm, Ogre was ignored, and I feel like Ogre had like a good stun. Because like you said, there is an, an abundance of stuns in this draft. They go for the Legion Commander. Um, and the Skyrim... So, who do you think is the core out of these three supports? Winter Wyvern? The change to Wyvern and him being able to deal damage during his ultimate has seen him start to be run as a core a little bit more, especially with his damage talent. Mm -hmm. um, but I think they, depending on the matchup, they could flex it where either Wyvern or Skyrath. Yeah. But also, like, Skyrath Mage plus Legion Commander in a lane is very strong, plus the pretty much free duel if you have those two together and gank up anybody. Uh, so very That's nice very pick good. up there. I think even uh, the Wyvern and the Legion, if they were to lane together, Wyvern, I think any of these three heroes alongside the Legion is a very strong lane. Razor. And that's what you were talking about before with the, the counter to the Kunkka. But uh, we see uh, Jimmy's team over here picking up the Razor to go and counter that Legion commander. And Ten seconds mm -hmm. remain dire team <clears throat> And they finish out that draft with an Undying. So the supports on Radiant side is Undying and Enigma, I would say. And it's a mid silencer. Ten seconds remaining. They could potentially run Undying 3. Five I don't know necessarily remaining. if that'll happen. I feel like they kind of need to run the Kunkka 3 um, and then have the Enigma be a 4 and just kind of deny the wave and keep the wave under Kunkka's tower. So but uh, the mid silencer, I think, will be, will be very interesting. We'll have AR playing on that hero. He's been playing fantastic in this Holiday Cup so far. Mm -hmm. That's how they are here in the Grand Finals. You, you have a mid laner that absolutely delivers. Uh, so what do you want to see out of the other team here to kind of pick up? the looking like they need their carry here. Um, you know, there's not a ton of options in the pool, but what do you think they're in? Uh, I was... I was thinking maybe something like Slardar carry, uh, just for the minus armor uh, and the damage. Because, like you said, there isn't a ton of carries left. Um, CK, I don't know. Like, if you get drained by Razor, you're like just done as CK. Like, you don't offer anything, I feel. Um, I feel like there's a lot of counters to CK as well with... Kunkka's cleave, even Razor's abilities are all AoE. Yeah. You know, Enigma's yeah. black hole and Midnight Pulse are just going to kind of shred through those illusions in the hero. Hmm. Maybe they run the Ogre core. <laughs> uh, that, would, that would be pretty interesting. Um, they kind of need a tower hitter as well. Yeah. So they could maybe 
maybe look for either Terrorblade or Medusa if they want to go that route. But I feel like both of those can run into the, you know, kind of those same issues with CK where they just have a lot of ability to deal with it. I also, I, I gotta, I gotta be real, every time I see a really late game core, a course like Spectre, Medusa, Terrorblade, 90% of the time they just get run over in the first 20 minutes. Um, and they go for the Medusa, uh, like you said, so they are planning to go for a little bit more late game. Uh, the mid player of uh, Dyer's team is Sick Boy, so they have the Winter Wyvern mid against the Silencer. No, against the Conquer. We'll have to see how those laning matchups go here. Uh, so based on this, this is going to be a 5 Undying, a 4 Silencer, and a 3 Enigma. Um, with the Pass 1 Razor in the mid. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say about those two drafts? I, 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 I am wondering a bit where does the damage come from from uh, Radiant side? Like you have this Razor who is gonna put a lot of damage in the mid early mid game, but as soon as it goes a little bit later, I feel like they might be have running into some damage issues. But they will have, of course, the black hole, and you can never count the team out with a black hole. I think the biggest thing will be their team fight in the late game, but they have a lot of these huge Prepare cooldown forward. ultimates that they're going to have to fight around. Um, I think the a big thing going for the Dire is they'll kind of be able to do a, a four-man strat while the Medusa farms, where every 50 seconds you have Duel and Mystic Flare and can look to just kind of instantly delete a hero and then kind of back off farm, look for pickoffs in that sense. Um, I think they're really going to... I don't want to kind of draw the game out while Medusa farms and look to get those pickoffs with those shorter cooldown abilities. Mm. Okay, let us introduce the teams here. On the Radiant side, it is Jimmy's team AR playing the Conquer down bottom. It is Jimmy on the Razor, Han Mingzi on the Undying, Sauce on the Silencer, and in the offlane, Coda playing the Enigma. Take over the Dire side. All right, so on the Dire, we got Kurwa over here on the Legion Commander, um, as well as Remedial playing the Skywrath. Really strong lane coming out of there. In the mid, we got a Midwinter Wyvern out of Sick Boy. Um, Logical playing Medusa and Lemon on the POS5 Lich. So this will definitely be a really interesting matchup with different, hugely different pacings on both teams. And we'll see who can execute more. And we already see Radiant getting one more bounce rune, but they might give up first blood here. Medusa leading one more hit and gets the first blood. Nice start there for the Gorgon Lady. I don't think that could have been a better start for them, honestly. Although they gave up three bounty runes, first blood going towards Medusa. She's already going to have a Wraith Band flying out. This is going to be... Mm-hmm. And I am, not, I feel like Dyer's offlane offers actually kill potential, while uh, Radiant, like they have this Enigma and this Silencer, but they deal a lot of damage to the Lich. I don't really think they can kill anybody though. It's just a lot of harass. Um, the Dyer also has really good ways of clearing out uh, these Enigma Eidolons. So with the Mystic Snake as well as the Q coming out of Lich with the Frost Blast. Uh, Sauce over here trying to run down the Courier. Decides not to. Yeah. Meanwhile, down top it is a constant brawl between the Skyrath Mage and the Undying with the Legion Commander and Razor just trying to get any amount of last hits. In mid lane, this matchup of Winter Wyvern versus Conquer, who do you think should come out ahead here? So I've never seen this matchup before. I'm not really sure who's going to come out ahead. Um, I think a lot of it will kind of come. Conquer has always been a really strong, strong laner. Um, I think as Win Winter Wyvern starts to get levels, though, and more points in Splinter Blast as well as Arctic Burn, he might start to really be able to harass down. I think early on, Kunkka definitely has the advantage, though. Mm -hmm. 
And do you know what do you build on this uh, Winter Vibrant? He's actually going for... Is he gonna get a kill here? No. He needed like one more tar um, target to hit off the Splinter Blast to get a kill on this Kanka. Um, up I top, think typically I've seen tre double no. Up top, they are going onto the Medusa, and it is a kill onto Logical. Lich leaving the lane and Silencer capitalizing onto that. They have the ward here that saw that uh, Lemon is pulling, and they immediately decide to go for the Medusa. Medusa doesn't have mana shield, so she isn't as tanky as she could be. Absolutely. I think logical what he's going to look to do here is just go for the farming build where he max out Mystic Snake as well as a split shot and looks to go into the jungle. Meanwhile, down bottom, they get the Skyrath Mage. Both of them are both on Radiant are really low, but they both have salves. So they get the kill and they don't lose out a lot. Um. It's definitely, if they're ever able to kind of catch out this guy, Irath, and get on top of him and get a static link as well as the plasma field out of Razor, this Sky Wrath is just going to melt very. Absolutely. Uh, something interesting out of the Legion Commander here, he's opting to go two points into overwhelming odds. He can't really man fight up against this Razor because he's just going to get static link. So getting those extra points in his Q, he's going to really be able to kind of pull out some burst damage, especially when he starts to go for those early duels once he hits his six. Hey, we see an invisibility room picked up by Skyrath Mage, and he is going to go for the courier snipe. Gets the, gets both couriers. Ooh. That's Somebody. the best feeling as a support. When you get one courier and then the other person's courier is falling right behind. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... Oh, it's a very, very satisfying feeling. I feel like it's most... He's so fast, he can catch up to couriers really easily. Yeah. It's also just the mental damage, I feel like, very often. Of like, just off. Oh, I just lost my courier. Very true. Um, just taking a look at the mid lane. Looks like AR is pulling out a little bit ahead of the Winter Wyvern right now. Oh, up top, Sauce getting gone on. They are going with the Frost Armor and the um, Mystic Snake. Enough damage and another kill for the Medusa. I feel like this is... Like, you do hinder this Medusa a little bit in terms of farms, but she is still keeping up and getting kills and getting her levels. Uh, I would be worried about that as Radiant. They are going mid onto the Winter Vivern. Splinter Blast not gonna be enough. They get the kill on Sick Boy. Level 6 wasn't even needed by the Conquer. That's gonna be really big because now, as soon as um, Wyvern comes back, if he's able to kind of get the Ghost Ship plus Torrent combo, this could end up leading to two kill or two deaths right in a row on the. Yeah. Something I didn't realize is, um, or completely forgot about, Mystic Snake, they changed it so it actually slows. So the amount of slow they have in this lane between uh, Lich and the Mystic Snake is actually insane. It's basically 100% movement. That's, uh, that's, I also didn't know that. I didn't realize that this change was happening. So many Dota 2 changes. <laughs> yes. It's a 30% movement slow across all levels. So between that, 30% um, from Frost Blast, and then the scaling slow out of Frost Shield. Yeah, and they are uh, just going on onto this Silencer again. And Silencer is going to go down here. And one more right click and the kill for the Lich. Lich going for straight for a Veil of Discord and already has a crown. Just needs the recipe. Uh, in mid, Winter Wyvern gets saved with the Cold Embrace, but is it going to be enough? It was an Arcane Rune on this Conquer, and he is still under tower, and Torrent is not going to hit Sick Boy, just playing the Vision game, and now the TP in from Lich and the Sinister Gaze, and they get the kill! 
Nice TP there by Lemon, ensuring the dive gets punished by Kunkka. That's a really good turnaround. That gets Sick Boy right back up to the same level as Kunkka and gets him right back into this. Yeah, but we see in terms of losses, it is 54 to 27 uh, of uh, Winter Wyvern versus the Kunkka. <coughs> We are seeing a slight net worth advantage out of the dire right now. I think a lot of that comes to the kills they've been getting up top out of the Lich and Medusa mm. come. Down bottom, they did get the Skyrith Mage. Uh, Razor is getting really, really scary. I I don't know if you still want to keep Skyrath here or maybe rotate him top. Because, like you said, with all of these slows, they can get kills re very easily. Um... Or maybe another rotation mid to make something happen against this Kanka. The issue is it's really hard to kill the Kanka. He's got double bracers already. He's sitting at close to 1500 health. He's not really the hero you want to kind of go and gank. Yeah. We do see Wyvern rotating down bottom, hopefully looking to get a kill. Has Winter's Curse up and gets an Arcane Ring from him while last hitting one jungle creep. They do got this ward here though, so the Radiant's able to see it at, mm -hmm. and kind of just are able to back off and dodge this. And it's gonna TP back to mid lane now. From his uh, quick bite, it, it looks like he wants to go for an Orchid. Um, which I think could be a really good uh, item choice. Also allows him to go for more pickoffs together with the L Legion Commander. Meanwhile, I miss a kill down bottom on this Gareth Mage. And Legion Commander still has not hit level 6. Has to stay out of lane. And just wants a little bit of experience so she can get duels going. This early advantage for the Razor and the Undying in this lane just makes it really difficult for both the Skywrath and the LC. He does get his level 6 now, so let's see if he either makes a rotation or they look to get a duel on Razor or the Undying. Mm -hmm. Now Logical has given up his lane to the Lich and is going to start farming the jungle. It's going to go for a Mask of Madness. And uh, now the 10 minute mark is approaching and there are three heroes for Radiant down here and they do pincer in the Legion Commander. Legion Commander is gonna try, it's gonna duel the Silencer and do they have enough damage? Yes they do, it's a winner for the Le Legion Commander. They focus on the Tombstone and now Winter Vibrant has to be careful. He has to call Embrace himself, can't do it in time. He bought out and it is, yeah. Static link damage from this Razor and he is just dealing too much. The Legion Commander actually getting the uh, outpost before the Radiant can stop him. He pays for it with his life, but I feel like that was worth it. Just the experience is really good for every everybody on his team. Actually, both outposts went the way of the Dire and the Lich was able to... He got his level 6 and got a solo kill onto this enemy. So... Really good plays coming out of the Dire right there. And meanwhile, Logical on the Medusa is just over here hitting creeps. Has his Mask of Madness up is just already farming really well for me. Mm -hmm. There was just a Winter's Curse onto this Razor. Razor nearly dead, but now Conquer has arrived and he will take down the Skyrath Mage. I say Jimmy living with about 60, 50, 60 mm -hmm. health there. And there is a Torrent Evil onto this Winter and they get the Winter Vibrant in the end as well. Yeah, Jimmy escaping with a sliver of HP. And the Lich has finished now the Veil of Discord already. He is more farmed than the Enigma. Also more farmed than his own Legion Commander. <laughs> and he is making stacks here. Uh, I like this play from Lemon. I think he's doing very well so far. Yeah, this Lich has been having a fantastic game. I would really like to see him start to uh, rotate down, kind of help out this Skyrath and Legion. Um, with the, especially with that Veil of Discord pickup, Skyrath also just let hit level 6. Even if Razor is sucking all of Legion Commander's damage, they can easily nuke someone down and start to 
up top though we got a black hole going on black hole with the midnight pulse not gonna be enough lich will go down to the midnight pulse in the end but they get the kill on the enigma first and i like that's a kill for the medusa <laughs> medusa just getting hit more and more oh and we get the dual victory onto the undying in the meantime with the dual and the mystic flare so this Legion can ideal trade. That was Black Hole used just to get a kill on the Lich and Logical on Medusa. Got a kill over onto the Enigma, even with him. This AR, Kanka has just been farming and he wants to go for a Radiance. So he wants to go more for this late game uh, kind build where he's going to farm with Radiance even faster. And dealing a lot of damage in team fights while being impossible to kill. Meanwhile, in down bottom, they go onto this Undying again. Duel is there and Global Silence used it. They get a winner on this Legion Commander once again. He has 30 dual damage now. They will lose the Skyrath as well as the uh, Legion Commander. And Winter's Curse was used. L Lich is very low. Is he going to get caught out here? There is an X marks the spot onto the Winter Vibrant with a fo boat follow-up. They get the Lich and they get the Winter Vibrant. So four heroes down. And now they will gonna put. They are going to push this tier one here. <coughs> uh, the radiant right now really playing off the back of AR. He's having a fantastic game, and which I think they're gonna really need uh, his ability to get this really early radiance timing. He actually has his relic done um, before 14 minutes. He's gonna have a very quick radiance, probably about the 15, 16 minute mark. Um, and I think they can just kind of keep pushing the pressure before this Medusa is able to really... They go on to the Skyrath Major. Remedial is gonna get taken down. And another kill for the Razor. And there's an X marks the spot on Lich. Do they get this kill as well? Lemon getting low. And he will die as well. Dominating spree now for this Conquer. 2k net worth lead now for the Radiant. Enigma went for a mechanism. This allows them for like this four or five man push now being very, very strong. Absolutely. I'm kind of surprised you almost didn't go for the Helm of the Dominator. You'll see that picked up pretty regularly on Enigma um, just to get some of the, you know, different auras out of the creeps and to kind of help with that. Absolutely. Uh, so we see now like Radiant is, has an advantage and they will have their Radiance in about 400 gold. Like you said, 15 to 16 minute mark. Uh, what does Dye need to do? They just need to stall out the game, I feel like. Medusa has a Yasha, has a Dragon Scale. Um, at what point does, like how long can Radiant let this go? They are pushing the tier 1 up top. Is this Medusa going to solo carry the game at some point? She's farming pretty, pretty well right now, but this Kunkka is just farming really, really well. As we say that, though, um, he's getting gone on mid, has a haste rune. Um, I think they really need to start just playing as the other four heroes. Let Medusa farm and just group up with your Legion commander. Every 50 seconds, get the duel. Like, you have Skyrath ulti, you have... This Lich with the Veil, you have a ton of magic damage. Just make use of that. And as we say that, they're actually they're smoked up right now, um, looking to go top. Sauce might get caught out here, which would be, I think, the ideal target before he's able to get a Global Silence off. Hmm. They reveal themselves with the overwhelming odds. Oh, is he going to get the duel onto this Razor here? Slow and Sinister Gaze. There's the Global Silence now. Medusa actually joining the fight with the ultimate, gets the Tombstone, and now Undying is going to go down. And Dyer has to retreat. LC is going to charge forward. Sees the Razor, but Razor is very, very scary. Although, there is a duel now onto this Kanka, but Kanka is just going to win it. Kanka has a Radiance. There's the Black Hole now onto three heroes. And this fight is disastrous for Dyer. And now Winter Vyron has a Cold Embrace, but just gives damage to Razor. And this has all gone horribly wrong. And with that, it looks like Radiant's going to try and really push the pace and start hitting this tier 3. 
here. They got the Eidolons up. Um, I believe someone has a... Just taking a look at neutral items. Oh, no, that's a, that was on Dire, where they had this Dragon Scale, which would start really chipping away at the tower with that damage over time. But it looks like they might be able to take down... Duel will be up in another two seconds. So wh what went wrong for Dire in that fight? Because they got the early pick up, pick off on the Undying and they got the Tombstone out of the way. But then I just felt like they were chasing too far. And Conker showed up with the Radiance. Is that just it? Um, the Legion just wasn't able to get a clean duel off. I feel like they really needed to eliminate one of the squishier targets. They ended up dueling the Kunkka on the back end, and, you know, they dumped all that damage into him. But he's very tanky right now. He's sitting, he just picks up a point booster as well, working towards that Aghanim. He's got almost 2,500 HP. It's really hard to chip away with him, even with all the damage that they have. They really want to utilize that duel on one of these squishier targets. I think he could have just dueled the Razor, and they could have bursted him down. Um, I think that would have been the ideal situation for them. Down bottom, there might be now a duel onto this racer. There's the duel into the Mystic Flare, and now there they get a pickoff. And 900 gold for this Gareth Mage. He just tripled his net, uh, not tripled, uh, got 50% more on his net worth. <laughs> That's something he definitely needed, but we see the Kunkka chasing down the Legion Commander right here. Yeah, there is a TP in from everybody, but Kunkka has another haste rune. And they see everything with the creeps. They still have global silence. They're, they're backing off now, but it almost was looking like Radiant was going to look to fight. Mm -hmm. And this Winter Wyvern, he has, like, he had a good start, but I just felt like his net worth has been stagnating over the last five to seven minutes. Um, he is now very close to his Orchid. Uh, is that going to change a lot? I mean, it's going to be really good against Silencer, against uh, Enigma. I think the biggest thing is, so even if they use Global Silence, as long as Winter Wyvern doesn't get caught, they'll have a way of canceling the black hole if they can just silence the Enigma. Huh? I think that could uh, be really huge before they're able to get this BKB up on Enigma. He's actually going Greaves next. Um, so they're looking to kind of get a little bit more of the team fight auras rather than going straight into like a blink or a BK. Mm -hmm. You got Radiant pushing here mid, so start to see some skirmish. Uh, logical, actually, it looks like he's starting to come back. He might join in on the fight. Mm -hmm. And now we have the Orchid finished on the Winter Wyvern. Logical going for the Bounty Runes. Just ensuring some more net worth for his team. And it is just a 3k lead at 20 minutes. That is not unsurmountable. But it does feel like Radiant has this team fight push right going right now. With the Enigma, having a mech, having a Blink Dagger. Legion Commander running in mid. Legion Commander did not decide to go for a blink. It's gonna decide to go for a pipe first. Um, against the Radiance. I think that's fine. Um, they they want to stall this game out. They don't really want to be you know fighting constantly. The blink would be nice so they can kind of get those that instant initiation and the pickoffs. Um, but the ultimately having that pipe is going to be huge for them with the. Uh, magic damage coming out from especially from this Kunko with the Radiance and soon to be the Aghanims in the Torrent Storm. Yeah, he needs 500 more gold for this Radiance. Razor, meanwhile, has a Yasha. It's gonna go for Sanj. Next, it looks like. And they'll probably go Sanj and Yasha, I would guess, then BKB. Um, and that'll be right about the time where Razor's finishing up BKB, Kunko's finishing up BKB. And then they'll have either a BKB or a Blink Dagger on the Enigma. The Enigma actually canceled his Greaves, picked up a Blink, and is opting towards that BKB. So I think they're going to really look to get that tri BKB timing, and that's when they're going to want to end this game. Uh, Dyer just found a Pupil's Gift. That, I feel like, could be a really, really strong item on Medusa. Because plus 10 strength and plus 10... Uh, uh, intelligence, like mana and HP, it's pre perfect for Medusa. Absolutely, I think she could 
actually switch out her wraith band in exchange for that. Yeah. Um, just because it's you know it ends up being. More <coughs> I say right now sitting over on the winter wyvern. Another hero, it's pretty good on though. Gives him some HP, um, lets him tank up as well as just a little bit of the attack speed. There is a Winter's Curse, Winter's Curse up. onto two heroes, and do they get the duel? There is a Global Silence, nice chain for a Spine Lich, but there's the Black Hole onto two targets, but not onto Medusa. Medusa just standing strong, trying to deal enough damage, but is now out of teammates, it looks like. There is a press the attack, there's a buyback from the Skyrath Mage, logical, just trying to make anything happen here. There's a duel onto the Silencer, but not a victory, and Medusa has fallen. Now they try to focus onto the Conquer, and they get the Conquer in the end and now Dyer might get some more kills it cost them buybacks and the Medusa did fall but they get the conquer kill and I feel like that's the most important one conquer has just picked up his uh, Aghanim scepter I think that was actually that was fine for the radiant they were they barely survived. The Razor got out. He, he was down to 2 HP. He only lived because he had the Kunkka Rum buff from the... Mm -hmm. But that actually, uh, net worth advantage-wise, that ended up jumping the net worth lead for the Radiant. About 2,000 gold. They're up to a 4k net worth lead. So definitely in their favor. Yeah, because there were two buybacks by the Dyer. And now they're finding out this Razor and... He's dead. <laughs> he got deleted. <laughs> That's that's how it is with Skyrath. Unfortunately, they didn't get a duel on top of it. Could have been a little bit better, but still, eliminating the Razor for 40 seconds is definitely really big. Right? Mm -hmm. I think now is kind of the go time for Dire, though. Um, Black Hose on cooldown for 80 seconds. Global's on cooldown for another 30 seconds. They really just want to kind of push the pace here while they don't have um, any of these ultimates and kind of retake them control the map and start to take some of these outer towers trying to look to get this last tier one yeah well there's also the issue is they have to go through Radiant ar who denies the tower <laughs> um, very big on this country right now top net worth got the radiance got the ags he's a very difficult target he also is level 20 um so that's where the torrent storm is huge you got that 120 torrent damage and the yeah, that AoE is deceptively large, like, with that Axe, it's so much lockdown. And now Razor has finished his Sanjun Yasha. Medusa wanting a butterfly next. And uh, she did, she already felt pretty tanky in this previous fight. Like, she did stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with multiple Radiant heroes for quite some time. Now, Legion Commander is charging down button to see, see the Enigma. Oh, Enigma is teeping out, but will not be stopped. Up top, there is a Winter's Curse just to save himself. Winter Vyvern is going to try to TP out. Not even going to go for it. There is a Tombstone, and they will find the kill on to Sick Boy. I think this is where, you know, the struggles of Captain's Draft come in. There was not a lot of really ideal heroes, and so they're playing this Winter Wyvern mid. Um, a little bit of an oddball pick. I feel like he kind of is a little just kind of out there for this draft. Um, everything else kind of lines up really nicely, but imagine this draft if they had a little bit more of, like, a team fighty, like a quap mid or something like that. I feel like it would do the same things as Winter Wyvern does, but just a little bit better. 100% agree. That's also where we saw like the Conquer was first pickup, and I assume it was because they saw there isn't really anything to counter him, and uh, so picking him up first was very good. They get a Roshan, and now, oh, TP was cancelled, but now there is an X marks the spot onto the Lich. Lich is gonna get torrented here, and they are still charging forward. Clumps net onto Lich, and Lemon might just pay the price here. He has a glimmer cape. No, he gets glimmered by somebody. No, it was a glimmer cape by Undying. My bad. <laughs> but now it One thing is. What I really like out of this Lich is he's trying to go for an Aghanim Scepter next. Their team's locking a little bit of lockdown, so having that AoE fear will. Yeah. 
I, I agree. Will definitely help. Oh, they they are gonna go on to this Enigma. Enigma get Orchid and has to use his BKB. That's his 10 second BKB charge. And Dire is just gonna retreat. He might have been able to get away without having to use the BKB there, but probably better safe than sorry. Because if he's eliminated and they don't have Black Hole, they have to completely back. Yeah, there's also now a Titan Sliver on this Racer, making him more tanky. So this Kunkka is holding on to the Enchanted Quiver, and it looks like it stacks with the Tidebringer damage. That's actually pretty insane. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Oh, it, it looks like it's actually only on the initial target. Oh, yeah. I'd say, but if it, it went and then actually cleaved the enchanted quiver damage, that would have been pretty broke. And they still have a lot of damage. Like, Konka took one third of his health in damage just by trying to push under tower a little bit. So there are. Induce is definitely hitting really hard. He's, she's got that butterfly finished up. Uh, yes. And the Titan Sliver has been found now. Oh, Radiant, it's gonna come up here. There is an Atos and immediate kill onto this Razor. It was just an Aegis and Undying already falling down as well. Now there is the ultimate by the Medusa and they are charging forward. Do they get the Razor? Mystic Snake not gonna be enough now. Konka has arrived. He is being stunned up and silenced. He's gonna get the kill onto the Skyrath Mage. He doesn't have five. There's the black hole onto the two cores. Do they have enough damage though? There was just a silencer follow up. Now there is a duel onto the silencer and Medusa is getting low. She is standing in the Midnight Pulse. Has run out of mana now. Now the Legion Commander. I hear a uh, Winter's Curse just onto the Conquer and Conquer is not gonna go down, but he's the last member of his team. Can he make it out? He is uh, gonna come back. There's the fear cancelling the TP and he will go down. What a fight for Dyer. That couldn't have started out better. They caught Jimmy on the Razor and he immediately died. He had ages, it didn't even matter. And at that point, logical on Medusa, really tanky with this butterfly. He was able to just stand in the middle of four heroes and right click away, pulling out a Absolutely, yeah. This Medusa, she has, she actually puts in the tit yeah, Titan's Liver, Butterfly, Yasha, Hurricane Pike, and wants to go for a Scotty next. Is also level 22, went for the plus 2.5 second stone gaze duration, and I feel like he's getting a lot of those uh, stuns off. And it's helping a lot, together with the Lich, who has been playing phenomenally. I feel like Lemon has been always exactly in the places where he needs to be. It makes it really hard for Enigma to kind of get Black Hole off as well. Is they have multiple ways to cancel it through BKB. Mm -hmm. Duel is a little difficult just because of the cast range on Duel. Um, but the Stone Gaze, as well as the Winter's Curse, are both able to cancel it, even with that Enigma having Black Hole. He might have to actually go and get a Lincoln Sphere at some point just to deal with the Winter's Curse. Mm -hmm. It's also like the Medusa can just uh, activate Stone Gaze and knows she will not get Black Hold for the next 8.5 seconds. Because if he does, he wastes it. He is gonna get stunned. Exactly. It's actually, in, um, I think, is a pretty big counter to the Enigma. Mm -hmm. We're getting to that point too where once this Medusa has Scotty. I just, I don't know how they're going to go about killing the Medusa unless it, it's like a perfect storm of uh, teamfight ultimates and they're like able to get the static link on top of her. They just don't do enough. Yep. And we see now in net worth, she has surpassed the Conquer by quite a margin now. And it, it is still a 1k lead for Radiant, but it, it feels like 100% even, if not even a little bit in Dyer's favor. In terms of levels, we see Konka and the uh, Medusa both being level 23. Um, on level 25, uh, Medusa, do you think she goes the modifiers or the mana? I feel like the mana is more important here. Like, she just needs to survive. She has more than enough damage. She also doesn't really have much modifiers yet. Yeah, I think she'll end up going for the mana this game. 
Um, the life steal is good. She does have the morbid mask right now, uh, but I feel like realistically she just needs to survive. We do got a, a fight going. There is a winter's curse and the ghost ship now landing onto the Medusa. Racer already dead. BKB was used by the Enigma. Dyer wants to push this further. Lich has the Agnum Scepter finished. There's the chain force. They get the immediate dual victory. And now there are three heroes dead for the Radiant side. And they're just going to take this tower. Very nice setup there by the Winter Wyvern with the Winter's Curse. Allowing the uh, Stone Gaze to stun um, the Razor for long enough to get him down. We just, we hit the point where Medusa is just too big, is hitting too hard. They didn't even get any of their ultimates off there. They had to just defensively BKB and just walk away because of how much damage, you know, was getting output by the Dire. Yeah, and uh, Logical is just standing on top of the, of, uh, of the Radiant base. It's like, what you gonna do to me? They get the fear onto this race, uh, onto the Conquer. There is a duel. Oh, the callback. Oh, they still get the victory. And that's Conquer dead. He has buyback, but this mid lane of Rex is getting assaulted now. Mid lane of Rex has gone down. This Conquer does not seem like he wants a buyback. There's now Enigma. He cancelled his black hole. He did not get anybody. Buyback from the Conquer. Conquer is back in. The global science now used, and Dire is running away. They get the Lich, but that is not enough. That's a Conquer buyback. Racer trying to find anything more here. Skyrath Mage, he should use his taunt just for mental victory and gets out. And they only lose the Lich there? They didn't get anything except the Lich out of that. Now the Winter Vibrant has, uh, has a Shadow Blade. Do they have detection? They see him with the uh, static link, but apart from that... Oh, actually the torrent is going to hit. There's the cold embrace for stuff. And sick boy is gonna go down. There is now the full Scotty finished on the Medusa. Very close to level 25 and... Uh, this buyback, they got two kills out of it, but not worth it at all. They lost the mid lane, or at least the melee rain, the melee barracks, which is the most important one. Logical is actually, he's got a Daedalus queued up next. He just hit 25. He might end up going the modifiers here just because of how much damage he's going to start outputting once he has that Daedalus. Oh, yeah. Daedalus, yeah, he goes for the modifiers. So Daedalus applies the crit chance to every single hit. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yep. So that as well as the Scotty slow. So nobody is going to be able to walk away from him. He's going to be able to just do what he's been doing and stand in the middle of fights and chunk away at the Radiant team. That's actually so much damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, also, I mean, if he continues his farming and gets to level 30 if the game goes that long, um, then he gets the plus 1,000 mana. And I really... Like, they already have... Like, they don't kill him. Like... They don't. I didn't see any chance for them to killing this Medusa in this past two fights. I think they just they really kind of missed their timing when they lost that fight with Razor having Aegis. That was kind of you know that should have been the fight where Radiant was able to take it and then push high ground, you know, get a lane or two of Rax and really snowball and end the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, because the Razor got picked off, it just ended up going the other. Exactly, like we saw, they they were able to take a tier 3 down very early. There's a BKB used by the Enigma, but it just ensures a kill onto the Winter Wyvern. Um, but it now comes really down to this black hole on this Enigma, and Dyer has done a very good uh, uh, effort to keep being spread out and not giving that black hole any chance for a comeback for the Radiant team. Roshan's actually going to spawn right now. Um, Radiant was going to check it out, and they just missed it. Uh, just walked away from the pit as Roshan is spawning. Um, but I think they'll probably walk back in there. Sauce smartly going and checking the pit so they know Roshan is up. So this will be Aegis and Cheese, which I think they'll look to get, especially with the Wyvern being dead. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Uh, Medusa decided to go for a Satanic. Has the Satanic now finished? Um... 
So now 3,000 health, 2,000 mana, plus a Titan Sliver. Um, how do you kill this Medusa? You need a black hole that doesn't get cancelled. <laughs> yeah, they need they need a perfect storm. They need Static Link on top of her with Black Hole before she gets her ultimate off. You know, with the Kunkka Boat and Torrent Storm. Um, you know, with if they're able to get a Midnight Pulse <laughs> Black Hole on her, it's possible. You know, that's gonna chunk away percent based HP. Destroys any hero, no matter how big they get. Yeah. Um, also, just talking about neutral items real quick, Enigma got a quick main charm, so got some CDR, which I think is much needed out of them. A little bit more, uh, less downtime on the huge ultimate out of Black Hole. Mm -hmm. Also, we are approaching now the 40 minute mark. Are there maybe any neutral items that could help Radiant in, in a big way? Um, I think the biggest ones are the Timeless Relic, so mm -hmm. that plus 25% debuff duration and the spell damage and the spell prism, so that 20% CDR. Um, the Leveler, Prince's Knife, and Flicker are all pretty good as well. Um, but I think the, the spell damage and the spell prism, um, those are the, the big two, the Timeless Relic and the spell prism. Uh, for somebody who isn't as well versed with all those... Uh, uh, debu debuff duration uh, things. So if that were on the Enigma, the black hole is longer. Actually, let never mind. They go onto the Medusa in mid. There is a torrent storm, but Medusa is still standing strong. Has activated the stone gaze. There is now the black hole on the two targets. Not cancelled. There's a chain for us now. There's a cold embrace onto the LC, but Medusa is getting low. Has the satanic though. Gets disarmed. And now the Medusa can start to hit now thanks to the pressy attack. There's a duel onto the Razor and Razor is down. They lost their Razor. Now they're focusing on the Konka. Konka has an Aegis, but his team is already retreating and now they will be focusing down this Konka. And he he has a disarm. There is the fear from the Lich. And this Konka will go down. AR, he will try to do as much damage as he can, but it will not be enough. Now two minutes without the conquer. What I think a fight! March down mid, and that's that's pretty much game without the conquer. Yep. And their big team fight ulti. It was a nice black hole. It looked good for one second there, like Medusa was getting low. But then they turned it around, and the Satanic she got a few hits off before the um, Halberd's debuff. Um, so she was able to get some lifesteal. Are they focusing oh, yeah. on the tier 4s here? Yeah, it was unfortunate. Um, Jimmy got dueled on the Razor before he was able to get Cheese off. So because of that, he ended up going down. I think if he was able to survive, he might have been able to chip down away at and pull out enough DPS to maybe kill the Medusa before she was able to Satanic back up. And now one tier 4 has fallen, the second tier 4 is gonna go down as well, there's a smoke by Radiant, it's gonna be one last play, there's a Winter's Curse onto the, onto the Razor with the Chain Frost now, and there's a Global Silence, but BKP activated by the Legion Commander, she fo just focuses on this Legion, on the Silencer, and Silencer is that Black Hole only on one target, and there are three heroes down, they got the LC, but Medusa is just standing too strong, GG's are called! Well played by Dyer, climbing back after a bit of a dump in the early mid game. But this Medusa, absolutely massive. They just, I think they just hit their timings a little bit better. That one fight um, with the first Aegis, that Radiant lost, that just really turned the tide of the game for Dyer. Taking a quick look at the graph, you can, you can see it too. The Radiant was in... Uh, pretty you know had a pretty sizable advantage and then as soon as they took that fight around the 30 minute mark it just snowballed out of control um and do really was able to take over the game yeah 